Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Stone, and this is spelling sort number 10. So you need your workbook. You need your spelling sort number 10 envelope. And this week, you will not need uh, colored pencils when you're tested over this one. We are not going to be tested over the sorting part. It will just be the spelling of the words. So I still want to do the chart with you to make sure you do the lesson with me. But as far as the test goes, you'll just need to spell the words. So let's take a, take a look at the chart, and we have three different columns, and in the first column, we had the war sound, but it is spelled W-A-R, and the reason why I'm doing that is because it has the W-A-R sound. You're going to discover that there are some words in there that don't necessarily have W-A-R in them, and we're going to look at that. You have the W-O-R, the worker sound. Um, in the, in the second column, and then the third column is the wall sound. So let me explain what we're kind of doing here. So the very first word I want you to find um, is the word wardrobe. Okay, we see that the war sound in the front of that word is spelled W A R. Now I want you to find the word quarter. This is kind of why I'm not doing the sort, is because if you say the word quarter, you can hear the war sound in there. But that Q-U, I don't want to get you guys confused, and I, I don't want to be tricky about this sort or anything. So that's why we're not doing the sorting part. I just want to do the straight spelling word. So they both have the war sound. It's just that in quarter, it's not spelled W-A-R as in warmth or as in wardrobe. So um, wardrobe quarter. So now I want you to look at all the rest of your words, okay? And a hint is that you are going to fill up this column. Okay, the other two columns, you're going to have some blank spaces. But in the first column, you're going you're gonna to take all the spaces up. I want you to go and find the other words that have the war sound, as in wardrobe. But I also, I think you're going to find um, either one or two more words, maybe this one, that has the war sound is in quarter also. So go ahead and find those words and do the best you can, and we're going to place them on that first column, and we're going to see if you, can, um, if you got them right. So come back whenever you're ready. All right, now that you've found everything, hopefully you've come up with the following words. Wardrobe, quarter, warning, warrior, Quarrel, swarm, dwarf, backward, warden. Okay, it all has the war sound, and it is spelled either W-A-R as in warmth, or it has the Q-U-A-R. It's usually, it's really the U-A-R that's making the war sound. But I want you to notice quarter and quarrel. Both make that war sound. It's just not spelled with the W-A-R as in warmth. All right. Now, remember, as always, you do not have to have them in that order. They just have to go in that column. And if you want to, you can go ahead and glue them down um, today because we are not going to do the sorting part. You just need to know how to spell the words. So if you want to go ahead and glue them down today, you can do that. Um, now, let's go to the second column. We're working. We're looking for the worker sound, okay? And it's going to be spelled W O R. And these are not the tricky ones. These are pretty straightforward. So on the words that you have left over, I want you to find the words that have the war sound, as in worker. All right. The very one of the words you should have is the word worse. Now the other words you should have are world, worry worthy, worship, and worthwhile. So if you'll notice, all of those make the war sound as in worker, and they're spelled with the W-O-R. That column is not as tricky as the first column, um, because on the first column, they stuck those Q-U words in there. But this one um, is pretty straightforward. All right, so you should have just very few words left over, maybe the same amount that you put in the second one. So go ahead and put those on the chart, 
and we have the word waffle. So we're looking for the wa sound as in the word watch. So if you find waffle, then you also have wander, squat, squash, squabble, and squad. So this is another tricky column because I want you to look at those last four words I have up there. Squat, squash, squabble, squad. Okay, they have the wa sound, but they're not spelled with a W-A as in watch. They're spelled with something else. And so I didn't want you to get confused there. But you're going to notice that the U-A makes the wa sound just like as in the first column, the U-A-W makes the war sound. So you have some pretty tricky spelling words this week. That's why we're not doing the sorting part. You're going to be just doing the spelling. Um, so make sure you study words. This is a very quick lesson since we are not concerned really with the sorting. So those are your spelling words for this week. And I will see you on Friday.